Within 200 years after it began, Christianity abandoned many of the teachings of its founder, Yahshua, commonly called Jesus. Influenced by Greek and Roman paganism, Zoroastrianism, and beliefs that even go back as far as Nimrod and the Tower of Babel, Christianity turned away from most of its Hebraic foundation. Worship rituals of the sun god Sol Invictus, who was born on December 25th, were adopted in rituals common in the modern holiday of Christmas. To continue this veneration of the sun god Sol Invictus, Constantine in the year 300 imposed Sunday to replace the biblical Sabbath. Other holidays like Easter and even Halloween were adopted in favor of the original Hebraic days of worship it once honored. But the rabbit hole goes much deeper, and the church doesn't want you to know the truth. From what the Messiah looked like to the very name he was called by, what you have been taught all your life is almost entirely wrong. Minister and journalist Alan Manseger explains. Christianity, as we know it today, started out as a Jewish faith. And it wasn't until 300 years later that Constantine started to make changes in the Sabbath, in Passover, and many of the other fundamental doctrines of Scripture. It's time you came out of the pagan Babylonian worship system. We at Yahweh's Restoration Ministry have devoted decades of study, removing false doctrine to drill down to the foundation of the apostolic faith. Don't believe us. Believe what you read in your Bible. All it takes is an open mind, free from the traditional baggage of church theology. Let's start the adventure together. Here's the first step. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of revealing videos and more amazing releases on the way. Visit our website at YRM.org or see all the other ways to connect with us below this video in the... So I'm sitting at home on November... I guess it's 24th or 23rd, whatever, I get kind of, I forget uh, where the rest of America, and I guess um, Pan-African, Pan-American, excuse me, Pan-American countries refer to as uh, Thanksgiving, uh, which I don't celebrate anymore once I uh, came into some knowledge of the truth, you know, as far as what uh, we do and do not uh, observe whenever it comes to uh, the creator of heaven and earth, you are. So I, I remember buying some books. No, did I buy them? No, I didn't buy them. They were left out on the curb. It was a whole volume of Encyclopedia Britannica in front of a Jewish thrift store. Yeah, I'll never forget that. So I grabbed them and I looked up what... <clears throat> The origin of Thanksgiving was. And these are the ones that I bought. It's my library. So, let's see. Let me see. We got P's to the R's, R, S, S, R, T, textiles, textiles. Should be in this one right here. So, I'm going to take this and let's open this up and let's see what it says. Okay. Each. Share. I've been looking at this. Thanksgiving. It says Thanksgiving throughout the United States is a day of religious observance set apart to give thanks for the blessings of the past year as well as an occasion for family reunions, bountiful dinners, and festivities in the home. Okay. Originating with Thanksgiving festivals held by Plymouth Colonies in December 1621 in gratitude for the ending of difficult year and for a successful harvest. 
it became a particularly particularly popular holiday among the New England colonies. The native fruits and vegetables, wild turkeys, pumpkin pies, which are constituted the fair of that first Thanksgiving feast becoming the traditional food for the day. In succeeding years, the various New England colonies celebrated Thanksgiving Day in recognition of such happy events as Good Harvest and Victories Over Indians. Hmm. Victories Over Indians. Okay. And they wonder why Indians aren't I don't want to keep this. Okay. North Americans. Indigenous North Americans. Hmm. President George Washington in 1789 issued the first presidential Thanksgiving proclamation in honor of the new constitution. During the ninth century, or 19th century, excuse me, an increasing number of states observed the day annually, each appointed its own date. That president, Abraham Lincoln, October 3rd, 1863, by presidential proclamation appointed the last Thursday of November as Thanksgiving Day was due to the unremitting efforts of Miss Sarah J. Hale, editor of the Goodies Ladies Book. Each succeeding president made similar proclamations until President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1939 appointed the third Thursday of November in December of 1941. However, Congress, by joint resolution approved by the, excuse me, approved by the president, set the fourth Thursday of November as the Thanksgiving Day. A national public holiday through, excuse me, national public holiday, though Thanksgiving Day in the United States is rooted in native tradition, the idea of a day set apart to celebrate the completion of the harvest and to render homage to the spirit who caused the fruit and the crops to grow. Hmm. Is ancient and universal. Similarly, the practice of designating a day of Thanksgiving for specific spiritual or secular benefits has been followed in many countries. In the United States, Thanksgiving despite its religious associations, often had a distinctly secular flavor. All right. The Yankee countries, Thanksgiving in the middle of the 19th century, traditionally featured a raffle of fowls on Thanksgiving Eve and a shooting match in the morning. In no in New York City, the day was celebrated by companies of fantastically costumed persons who paraded noisily through the streets. Children dressed in the clothes of their elders went about their neighborhoods begging for money or for contributions of fruits and vegetables. Canada has long celebrated a Thanksgiving Day. The dates vary, varying from year to year, but finally generally placed on the second Monday in October. Pan American Thanksgiving Day is observed annually by representatives of the Latin American countries in nations in the nation's capital. Was first celebrated in 1909. So we should see the F.B. Hoff uh, Proclamation of Thanksgiving. This must be a book in 1858. W.D. Love, The Fast and Thanksgiving Day of New England, 1895. J.K. So or S.O. 
All right. So this is actually a day that was rooted in a pagan belief that was brought up to speed and people want to celebrate it today as if it's okay. And if you believe in the creator of heaven and earth and if you're obedient, obedient to him, I think the Messiah said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So one of the commandments, I think the first, which will have no other deities or gods or elves before me. So meaning he doesn't share or he's not okay if you keep another practice that belongs to another deity. No matter how much society has tried to clean it up or make it seem okay. America has been a trip. They've lied to us for a, for a long time about a lot of things. The question is, now that you know, because I told you and I'm showing you, what will you do? Thanksgiving is a day of religious observance. The only problem is the religion or the religious observance is not uh, has anything to do with the Messiah nor Christianity nor any of that stuff so whose religion does Thanksgiving belong to hmm think about it I'm out and I want to say manners love and elevation thanks for listening